Hi, I'm Mr. O Ming Yo. Okay, I'm going to go through the questions on the resistance of a wire. Okay, I have a 2 meter wire of cross sectional area 3 mm square and it has a resistance of 8 ohms. What is the resistance of a wire of the same material which has a length of 1 meter and cross sectional area of 6 mm square? Okay, there's two ways in which you can approach this question. The first way is by common sense and the second way is by a mathematical method. Okay, um, first way. We know that the initial resistance is 8 ohm and there is a change to the length from 2 meter to 1 meter. As the length is directly proportional to the resistance, right? If the length decreases to half its value, the resistance will also decrease to half its value, which will become divided by 2, it will become 4 ohm. Okay, next. Um, the area increases from 3 mm square to 6 mm square. So for area, increases from 3 mm square to 6 mm square. Since the area is inversely proportional, right? If the area double doubles in its value, the resistance is going to decrease to half its value again. So it becomes 2 ohm. Okay, that's the answer. So um, now I'm going to go through the method 2, which is a mathematical method. We have to use the formula. Resistance is equal to the resistivity multiplied by the length over the area. Okay, the question has given us uh, one set of uh, data for resistance, uh, length and area. So you can plug it in to find the resistivity. And it will be 8 is equal to resistivity multiplied by the length which is 2 over um, the area which is 3. So resistivity is equal to 3 times 8 divided by 2 and that will give us 12. And with this you can write out the equation R is equal to 12 length over area. Now we fill in the length and the area accordingly so r will be equal to 12 times the length which is 1 over the area which is 6 and with this we can also get 2 ohm